Percy was cross. First Henry finds an old line, then Toby, and then Oliver. Why can't I ever go on exciting adventures, he moaned. Because you're a silly little tank engine who talks too much, said Gordon. Adventures are for important engines. I am important, Percy said. You think you're so high and mighty because you crashed through a station wall and about the hole named after you. At least I have something with my name on it, Gordon retorted. Percy snorted and puffed angrily away. Hmm. Gordon's just being obtuse, Percy said to himself as he made his way to the junction. I should be able to go on an adventure too. When Percy arrived at the junction, he saw the station master speaking with a man that Percy had never seen before. That's the new signalman, said Percy's driver. He sent three engines down the wrong lines this week. This gave Percy an idea. If the signalman sends me down the wrong line, he thought, perhaps I will have my adventure after all. Later that day, Percy was preparing to leave with a train of empties bound for the quarry and waited for the guard's whistle. The signalman had accidentally switched Percy onto an old part of the branch line that hadn't been travelled on for a long time. But a thick fog had settled, and the signalman didn't realise his mistake. Nor did Percy or his driver. The guard's whistle came, and Percy started down the old line. He travelled for a long time, and suddenly felt a bitter wind blowing across his funnel. <sighs> Percy shivered. Where are we? Then, the fog began to lift, and Percy discovered that they were atop on an old viaduct, towering over a dry riverbed that had been dammed off long ago. It made Percy's wheels wobble to see how far it dropped, Blast, said Percy's driver. The signalman did it again. We're on the old branch line. The bridge began to sway as Percy came to a halt. The bridge is collapsing, yelled the fireman. Several stones began to fall, landing with a dull thud on the riverbed below. At the other end, the track had begun to buckle. Quick, Percy, back, said his driver. Percy reversed back onto solid ground, just in time. The fire duck collapsed with a loud crash that echoed through the valley. The fat controller came to see what had happened. Percy, you and your crew stay quick thinking avoided a nasty accident. But we really must be more careful not to send engines down the old parts of the line. He glared at the signalman. Between you, Henry, Oliver and Toby, <laughs> I've learned that we need to do a thorough survey of these old lines to keep everyone safe. Percy returned to the station the next day, but instead of feeling cheerful, he felt glum. Well, said Gordon, did you like your adventure on the viaduct? No, Percy said plainly. What's the point of going on an adventure if your discovery falls apart? The engines laughed and laughed. But Percy felt that this whole adventure business was very overrated.